everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're back today with another course playthrough uh, slash review. Um, haven't done a video in a couple weeks so I thought it'd be good to get back on YouTube and uh, do a video. Um, the course we're doing today is actually, um, it's been out for a couple months, um, but I've noticed it hasn't really got that much feedback and um, I really just wanted to give it a play. Um, and I have not, I have not checked it out yet, so I'm, I'm really excited to, to finally uh, be able to check this course out. Um, this course is called Country Club at Poco Toligo by Brock and Roll 10, who actually has a YouTube channel. Um, he built, uh, I think he built the entire course in like a whole series on YouTube. Um, so make sure to go check him out. Um, I'll put, I'll put his link in description. Uh, He's gained a lot of subscribers the last couple months. You know, he's, he's really a uh, his channel has really grown uh, very fast. Um, so that's super cool to see, and uh, I'm really excited to play the course. Um, I've also uh, I remember him saying that he used to be, or I don't know if he still is, um, that he was a professional golfer on, on one of the tours. Um, so that that's really cool, um, and it's neat to have people like that in the design community as well to. Know, provide that kind of insight to a, pro a professional golfer's kind of point of view. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get this started here. Uh, I think everything's on default. We're just going to give it a play. Um, by the way, I am kind of suffering from a little bit of a sickness. So my throat was a little scratchy. Not breathing great. So I do have a cup of water with me right here. Um, right next to me, just in case. And if I start coughing, I'll just edit edit that sound out because um, it can turn pretty nasty but as of right now I'm, I'm excited that we get to play a great golf course let's see what we have first hole okay pretty gentle opener I do like the uh, it's kind of ocean ocean side planting it's pretty neat oh, I don't know what I just hit By the way, I suck at this game, so I'm sorry. It's an okay shot if it stays and it goes into the heavy rough. Very interesting planting. It's uh, a pretty cool uh, uh, variety of trees he's used, actually, because these are more like kind of delta themed, and these are kind of tropical themed. And I believe this looks like a delta theme. I believe this is. Delta themed. Not that it really matters anymore in the new game where you can use different plants, but let's see what I can do from here. And I duffed it. Again, I don't play this game very much, so you're going to see some very bad golf today. As we slowly get closer to the hole. And we can tap it in from there. Okay, so a pretty gentle opener. No, you know, nothing too crazy. You know, a driver, a wedge, usually. Except for me, I like to go a yank, a duff, another duff, a duff chip, and a tap it. Okay, another kind of smaller green. 170 yards and not a lot of room to run it on. Bunker in the back. Very interesting uh, retaining wall here. You don't see that very much. Oh yeah, I remember watching him do this. You can kind of see he's raised up the water level around the, the green. Never really seen anyone do that before, but I think it's kind of smart because you can't really tell. And it makes the water seem a lot closer than it really is. So That's a pretty smart thing to do. Let's see if we can stick this one close. The wind is with us. It's going to be tough to stop this. That's a good shot right there. Now will it sit is the question. That's a pretty good shot. So not a lot of not a lot of room to run it on. Just something to be careful of. You know, if it was more of like a 130 yard shot, um, the pin would be a little easier. But 
bad. Man, I don't know where the brake was there. Or there. Wow. Very surprised by that. And now it breaks. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. This game is going to ruin my life. Okay, there we go. We are four over through two holes. The designer's fault. I'm just kidding. Man, that is that is just some weird gameplay. Okay. Enough ranting about the gameplay. We're here to focus on the course, not not the game. So uh, they've kind of gone with a uh, waste bunker look here. Okay, just mulch or pine straw. I can't really tell. That's definitely pine straw. Okay, we're gonna try to send one here. And that's sending one, baby. Pretty big landing zone so far for the driver. Um, maybe something to think about. Uh, tightening up those driver landing zones because it kind of makes it just a step up and rip it kind of kind of deal and it leaves you with a pretty simple wedge shot in although I'll probably find a way to screw it up like that although I am on the green I am a little nervous about this not a bad putt we could get our first part of the day here. And we do. I really like the atmosphere here. It's really cool. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Okay. Waste bunkers are really neat. Is this a drive bowl? Oh, it is. Interesting uh, contours here. Come on. Oh, oh, baby. What? I cannot believe that has come up short. And it makes sense that if you come up short, you should be in a bad position. But we're going to be smart here. Use the backstop behind. Oh, what a shot. And that's a tap in bird there. Okay. That's kind of a fun little hole there. You know, it's a little quirky. Um, but that backstop behind, you know, gives you a chance to possibly have a hole in one. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I like this a little more because the driver zone's tightened up. This is kind of using it as almost a. Uh, like a regular bunker on a course, how it kind of cuts in. Um, even though it's part of a waste bunker, it kind of seems like its own individual bunker. That's really cool. The water, I don't know if it's reachable, but... <coughs> Kick left. There we go. It's pretty neat. I'm not sure. I don't really know when you would want to go over here. This water is well placed, though. You know, obviously, I'm going to challenge this. The layup zone is nice and contested too. You know, if you want the better angle in, you're going to have to go right. Everything's sloping to the water. One thing I would say, maybe, on this side, keep it sloping this way. That way, you can sling one on and sling one around. Over here, everything's kind of come back to the left, but just something to think about. Again, all, all my opinions are just my opinions, and I am not an expert in any of this stuff, uh, so don't take anything I say personally or like I know what I'm talking about. And that's exactly why. Beautiful shot there. I don't know what guy was expecting. Playing like myself in real life. Actually, not bad in real life. I'm a, ooh, a four and a half handicap. So. Hmm. 
That means I should be shooting around like a 77, 78. I duck that. And that is gone. This is a neat hole though. I think this is my favorite hole so far. Turn left. What a putt. Is that a bogey? What a bogey. Okay, we need to get some birds right now. Ooh. So this one's a little better. You don't have very much room to run it on, but it is a short hole, so it kind of makes up for it. Ooh, that sounded kind of crisp. Oh, it's just going to roll off. That was a terrible shot. Stay straight. Nice putt. Okay. We're doing okay. Alright, this hole I remember, I think it was in one of the first episodes of the series um, Rock and Roll did uh, on YouTube. I, I, I believe it was hole 7. I think it was this hole, right? Not sure. Definitely some risk reward though. I'm gonna go for it because why not? Oh, if I yank it just a little bit more. Green's kind of. This is a very small green. One thing I've noticed so far, you might want to think about, is transitions from fairway to green is if you can see right here this is kind of looks a little weird if you were to curve that in over here kind of like how this one looks smooth this one's not very smooth just something to think about you know because you could easily just round this off right here and have this smoothly come in and there, there's there's tutorials out there like certain ways how to do it and stuff um, it'll just give you like this side's much better much cleaner. It'll make your, your greens and fairway transitions look a lot smoother. It'll make your course overall look uh, a little like cleaner. A um, little pitch shot here from in the bunker. That sounded really badly hit. Spin. Okay. Turn. Rolling out. That's in the hole. What a putt. Okay. We are even par for the last five, but we were four over the first two. Ooh. That's a big hill. Uh, this is might be a little too much camber, maybe. Like if the wind is going to the right, you could have a problem keeping it. You could have you could have trouble keeping it on the like that. That's gonna miss the fairway. You could have trouble keeping it on the fairway. Not really sure if this is needed back here. You know what I would love to see is some bunkers right here. Remember, like these bunkers, that bunker, is there another bunker? Put like another two bunkers right there, that would look cool. And then cut the fairway off right here. Because no one's really going back here, like you're never going to take a path around the green really. It's just, it's kind of pointless. What a sh golf shot. And we tap it in. Or a birdie. See if we can get to two over on the front nine. Another par five. Pretty wide landing zone again. The driver. That was a god awful shot. 
god awful. That was actually that was a perfect. That actually sounded like a shank or something. Let's see if we can. Six hundred fourteen feet up. Oh, whoa. that's tracking. Go. Oh, that's on it. Up the hill. And not back down. Wow, very surprised. Okay. It's not going to break. You really need this putt right here. That's a god awful putt. Um, everything's a little wide open on that hole. See the the, the driver zone's a little wide. The layup zone's pretty wide. Although it is kind of a tough uh, approach into the green, but it's, it could be a pretty simple driver, hybrid, wedge, tapping. Obviously, you know, when you have a player like me, I make every course look really difficult because I get in the dumbest situations. <laughs> like that. Wow. Okay. We gotta regroup. It's okay. It's not bad. I really like the environment here. I think it's really cool. A little bit of a run off on the back. Sound a little slow. Is the wind gonna take it a little bit? No. Should be a heck of a par. What a par. Hey, okay, and uh Ooh. This is kinda neat. Okay. I mean I'm gonna try to get there too for sure. Oh, that's in the bunker. This is neat though, because it gives you an opportunity and then you can go up here too. Obviously, I can't go that way. Oh, I think I hit that fast because I was going to put that right into the bunker. Now it's a way up the. Ooh, big false front. I think I'm going to leave you. Hopefully, it's uphill enough, it will stop it. Ooh, what a shot. Perfect. There we go. Alright, this is kind of neat. You can see the, uh, the horizon. What, a little bridge right there? Wait. To my putter. There's a bridge, there's a road. Uh, how do I go back? Okay, this is a massive green. It's like a St. Andrew's <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this there. I don't know if I'll get there. That is not getting there. We got to the fairway, so we're not in terrible shape. Interesting kind of par 3 here. Massive green. Lots of humps and bumps. It's a long hole. Some cool rock work. It's neat. I assume that's the clubhouse? There's a little patio kind of thing out there. Let's try to stick this next to the pin. And all this rolls a lot. It's okay. Stay up. Okay. We're okay. Let's see. I really like how you can see other holes from like different holes. Like you can see the hole over here, you can see the green over here. You see tea boxes over there. I think that's really neat. 
This is kind of cool how he's used the waste bunker and kind of made it like its own bunker coming in again. Again, though, the driver landing zone is massive. And now I, I, I understand that I'm playing with a lesser driver, but it's only about 10 yards less. And, you know, it, it should be a, a bit of a challenge in those shots. Ooh, a little kind of a bold pin on this, kind of, but it's only on two sides. Heat iron. That's on bad. That's in the bunker. Oh. Oh. That's a good shot. Where are we at right now? Plus four. Let's get to plus two. We'll make that our goal. I really like the colors on this course. Like I said, the atmosphere and stuff. And it's really cool how he's used kind of the overcast kind of theme, not beam, uh, the overcast weather. I'm, I'm not a, I, I struggle to kind of design an, an overcast kind of, I always need that dramatic sun, that was a duff. I always need that kind of, like, sun to make that dramatic kind of lighting. I, I, I struggle to make things interesting when the sun's not there and the shadows aren't there. So. This is part five. Okay, we're okay. I think the part five has actually been my favorite. Part. There's been some cool ideas. Alright, this is our chance to get a bird. That's a terrible play. So kind of inconsistent. This game's kind of inconsistent. I don't know for some reason. Sometimes it will break, sometimes it won't. Weird. Par 4, 15th hole. Ooh, this is neat. Yeah, this is, you don't go driver here. Obviously. You just top one into the bunker. <laughs> um, you're going to hit a pitching wedge. Wow, I like a lot. I there's been some cool little backstops on this course that have made like some some shots uh, really fun to hit. Um, like the one on the I think it was a drivable four, where you can run off the backstop, come down, and possibly get a hole in one or an eagle or whatever. I think that's really fun. This rock looks really cool. Oh, they have the little walkway. In case you go in the bunker. I'll be down there in a minute right after I push this tee shot. Nope, I'm gonna yank it. Oh. This looks like dangerous. <laughs> Let's just full send this. I need an iron. That's okay. One thing I have noticed from this course is the greens have gotten bigger as the like, rounds went on. Like, the first like three, two, three holes, they were like tiny little greens, and then now we're starting to see some greens that are like two, three times the size. Especially like that. Um, what hole was it? It was like twelve or eleven. The par three with a massive green. See, the greens have gotten a lot bigger. Like, the first hole's green is about half the size. I do like the transition from like the coastal to inland kind of uh, uh, vibe too, because the inland holes are different from the coastal, and I think that's really cool. And I like how the designers like taking us out, to the, uh, taking us along the coast, then brought us inland, and then taking us back out to the coast and brought us inland, and kind of go back and forth, and back and forth, which is really cool. We're gonna get a hole in one. What I say? Uh, not quite. Wow, 
one putt. Okay, we're going to 18. I said two over. That was the goal. You know what that means. We're going for it, baby. Let me take some water. <laughs> That's okay. Up and down for two over. It's an interesting little green. Oh, we can't go down this little. Let's take a look at the clubhouse. Pretty little clubhouse. Can't go in this little runoff. I'm going to get this one there. Oh, that felt good. That's all over it. I almost dunked it. He needs this. To shoot two over, which should be our goal. And the game robs us. Wow. I think we shot under par on the back nine, though. Right? Did we? Wait, I want to see the uh, scorecard. Yeah, shot one under on the back. Okay. With a bogey in the last, I have to go for it. <laughs> Um, that's okay though. So, um, yeah, that was Country Club at Poco Taligo by Brock and Roll 10. Um, he has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Um, super cool guy. Um, super neat course. You know, that, that was a lot of fun. I did not play very well, but I didn't shoot like 10 over like I did last time. I, I did a course review or a course playthrough. Um, only 139 plays, you know, go, go give this course some plays, you know, uh, provide some feedback. Um, you know, on, on the forums and everything, you know, uh, give some feedback to the designer, you know? Um, that was a really cool course, honestly. Uh, the, I really liked the uh, overall atmosphere of it. You know, the environment was really cool. A lot of uh, interesting design ideas. Um, a lot of them worked. You know, some, some might not have worked as well. Um, but a lot of really good ideas there. And I really like the planting. Um, the types of trees is really unique. Um, I think it worked really well. Um, it, was, it was cool to see the waste bunkers. Um, I like the kind of coastal to inland kind of kind of uh, kind of vibe. Um, yeah, it was it was a really fun course. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm trying to think of things. Uh, uh, one thing uh, I think the designer could work on possibly um, is kind of the driver landing zones and layup landing zones were pretty wide, um, kind of to step up. And kind of just rip it, rip it, kind of, kind of idea. You know, maybe think about implementing some strategy there to, you know, make, make, make yourself think or make the player think a little bit more when they're, when they're in that position. Um, but I didn't think it was, it was anything. It wasn't fairways weren't massively wide or anything like that. You know, it was, it was overall, it was, it was a pretty well done course. Um, and if the designer's watching, I have a question. Is Was this your first course designed, or have you designed courses before this? Because I, I haven't, I only saw you come out on YouTube when, a couple, how many, how many uh, months ago, and that's the first time I heard about you, so I was just wondering. Because if this is your first course, that's a fantastic first course. Um, and if not, uh, if it's not your first course, I'd love to go play your other courses. Um, but yeah. Uh, that was a really fun, a really fun course. Um, as always, guys, make sure to slap a like on the video and subscribe. We're on the road to 100 subs. I think we're at like 86 right now. So we just need 14 more subs. We need 14 more of you guys to subscribe. And we'll hit 100. And then our next goal will be like 1,000 or something crazy. But, you know, we started this channel like two years ago. And, and we're almost to 100. So... You know, that's, that's pretty that's pretty impressive, so help me get there. Do me a favor. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell everybody you know to subscribe. Uh, we only need 14 more. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, uh, feel free to, to leave a comment down below if you want me to play your course or if you have a course request. Um, I'll, I'll always try to play courses um, if, I have, if I have time. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, course designing again. Been pretty busy lately, um, but hopefully within the next couple months I'll be able to enter a contest um, and be back up designing and on, um, on the forums regularly. Um, haven't been that active on there, but hopefully soon I will be again. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Brock and Will Ten, for making this course. Um, it came out a while ago. Sorry for being so late with a with a review, but I hope you can take this feedback and use it for your next course. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.